When you make up your mind to be defined by a vision of the future, you're going to change your energy. And when you change your energy, you're going to change your life. We're creatures of habit. People get locked into a routine. When they're doing the routine, they're not present. It means that you got to change it up. People have to embody who they want to become. Walk as that person, breathe as that person, become the stars of their own movies. I challenge people to get beyond themselves. When you forget about everything that's known, you're moving into a very creative process. You're placing your attention and energy in that field of possibility. That's where the magic happens. I'm very hopeful that、uh, we become a species of human beings connected to the earth, so creative, so overjoyful. We're wired to give. We're the happiest when we're taking care of one another, and that's what community is about. Choices. You're either defined by a vision of the future. Or you're defined by the memories of the past, and when you decide to say, "Okay, I'm going to change," and you decide one thing, I'm not going to eat this food. I'm going to wake up earlier.、Uh, I'm going to do something aerobic. I'm not going to have、mm -hmm. sugar after six o'clock. Whatever it is,、yep. the person, whatever choice a person makes, the moment you make a choice to do something differently, and the hardest part about change is not making the same choice as you did the day before. Get ready, because it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel unfamiliar. There's going to be some uncertainty and unpredictability, and that's the moment the game is on. My definition of creation is when I forget about me.、Mm. I become nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere, and no time. I become pure consciousness, and the moment I reach that elegant moment of the generous present moment, all possibilities in the quantum field exist truly. When our brain and body are in the present moment, getting there is the work.、Mm -hmm. So then, most people then create reality from what we call three-dimensional creation. Now, when you teach people how to take their attention off of matter, off of objects, off of a particle, and sense energy and sense space and pay attention to nothing,、mm -hmm. the moment they begin to open their focus. All of a sudden, their brain waves begin to change from beta to alpha. But not only just alpha, where the imaginary inner world starts to become more real, but very coherent brain wave patterns in alpha. So when you're under stress, you're trying to control that person, that thing, that experience, and your attention is shifting from one thing to the next. Turns out that each one of those things has a neurological network, and the brain is assigned to it because we've experienced it.、Right. So as you try to control all these things, and your attention is shifting,、There's、you、no、measure the brain. The brain is. Fifth-dimensional creation has nothing to do with going anywhere to get anything, because if you combine a clear intention, a coherent thought, coherent brainwave pattern, with a coherent heart, moving into that elevated emotion, thoughts are electric and feelings are magnetic. The magnetism of this center becomes the energy. The intention is carried on that energy. And now you are broadcasting a new signature into the quantum field. Now, if it's done properly and you understand the mechanics in fifth-dimensional creation, you are not going anywhere to get anything. You are actually collapsing space and time, and you are drawing the experience to you. You are the vortex because when there's a vibrational match between your energy and that potential that exists in the quantum field, by tuning a radio dial, when you lock into that frequency. If you keep revisiting that energetic signature over again every single day, then you don't have to go anywhere and get it. The new job finds you. The new house actually finds you. The new relationship finds you because you are the vortex that's drawing the experience to you. That unknown is the perfect place to create from. Because only in the unknown can you create something new, and if you and I can become comfortable in that unknown place, then the best way to predict the future is to create it from that unknown place. Now, when people start crossing the river of change from the old self to the new self, because they're no longer thinking, acting, and feeling in the same way. 
There is literally a biological, a neurological, a genetic, a chemical death of the old self. And this dark night of the soul, this, this unfamiliar place, is the true uh, value, the true step towards developing a new self. So then if we're leaving the old and we are creating the new, then the next most important question is, well, if I'm going to create a new self, what thoughts do I want to think? What behaviors can I plan? And as you begin to image and rehearse a new way of being, you are changing your brain and body neurologically and biologically. That's the neuroscientific model of mental rehearsal. And as we begin to remind ourselves who we no longer want to be, and we remind ourselves every day of who we do want to be, there'll come a moment where we begin to silence the circuits in our brain that are connected to the old self and inhibit the chemicals that reaffirm the same identity and then begin to fire and wire new circuits in our brain that begins to install the neurological hardware that begins to create a level of inspiration where we start seeing new possibilities, we see a new landscape, we see a new horizon. And that person who crosses the river of change then, all of a sudden has new opportunities in their life. People, their, their body has been conditioned emotionally to be the mind. So now the, so the, the body says, wow, uh, I'd rather hang on to my guilt mm -hmm. than take a chance in possibility. I'd rather live in fear yes. than trust in the unknown. So, yeah. so once the person feels uncomfortable, the body goes, whoa, wait a second, uh, we're out of the program here. And body starts influencing the mind. That's right. So it says, start tomorrow, you'll never change, right. you don't have the money to do this, you're not good enough, your mother told you you were this, your father's fault, it's your ex's fault. You know, all of the voices that come up. Now here's the deal. If you respond to those voices, those same thoughts as if they're true, by the way, they're always going on behind the scenes of your awareness, but now they're amplified because you're outside your comfort zone. You believe in that thought. That thought's gonna lead to the same choice, which is gonna lead to the same behavior, which is gonna create the same experience and produce the same emotion. And the person's gonna say, this feels right. No, 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 that feels familiar. Going from the old self to the new self is a neurological, it's a biological, it's a chemical, it's a hormonal, it's a genetic death of the old self. Mm -hmm. And people will say to me, in that void, in that unknown, I can't predict my future. And I'll say to them, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Not from the known, but from the unknown. Love it. So close your eyes now and think about that vision. Once you start thinking about that vision of your future, you're activating the creative centers in your brain. And naturally, you begin to think about putting yourself on the scene. Yes. And the act of doing that, when you're truly passionate and truly present, the moment you're defined by that vision, when the thought in your mind becomes the experience, you begin to feel the emotion of the event before it's made manifest. Yes. Now, you're giving your body mm -hmm. a sampling, a taste I of the it. future. And now, if a thought and a feeling create a new state of being, you're combining a clear intention with an elevated emotion, and now you're beginning to change your biology, and you're seeing a whole new landscape that you could never see before, because you're no longer viewing your future through the lens of the past. Now, this, this requires then something really specific because most people will wait for their, their, their wealth to feel abundance. They'll wait for their success to feel empowered. They'll wait for their new relationship to feel loved. They'll get all these things when. Yes, right. so, so, so think about that. The absence of getting those things causes people to live in lack their entire life. Right. And so they're waiting for something outside of them to change how they feel inside of them. And if they're not creating a new life, then they're not put, applying the proper principles and they keep all their manifestations, all their dreams of our existence. Life. Think about this. If you get up feeling gratitude, if you get up feeling empowered, if you get up feeling whole, if you get up feeling unlimited, why would you, why would you worry about whether it was going to come or not? You would feel like it already happened.